Okay, so the second part of a research proposal is what we call the summary or the abstract. So an abstract or a summary gives you an overview of the research proposal. And um, based on my experience of writing research proposal, like typically there are three main concepts that you're trying to establish or that you're trying to um, uh, provide um, in an abstract. So the first of which is a background. So uh, what problem needs to be solved? Like what is the broad area that covers your area of study? And then um, also like on this, um, in this part, you also talk about what has been done before. So it's very important that you do your literature search quite effectively for you to be able to provide the background. Um, the second part of this is typically the problem is, the problem statement. So what specific research questions are you proposing to answer? Because you know we begin the overview with a fairly broad concept, but you also have to be able to naturally transition into the specific questions. Um, ano po ba yung gusto nyo talagang establish Kasi you cannot claim something over a very broad um, uh, topic. Uh, and then um, the last part of this is the proposed study. So you have to concisely uh, express your objectives um, for the program. And also you should, you should also concisely speak about the scope of the project. And typically per section po, we dedicate uh, two to three sentences. So effectively for an abstract, you should actually not go beyond uh, 10 sentences. And just to give you an idea, why do we actually want for this to be concise and you know less than 10 sentences? Um, it's actually mainly because the abstract is you will initially communicate to um, your funding agencies or to, who, to any, any reviewer who would ask you questions. So for example, hypothetically speaking, I don't know if you're familiar with the concept of an elevator pitch, say, pumasok kayo ng building and you enter an elevator and you chanced upon one of uh, your funding agencies um, and they ask you, okay, what are you, what are you really proposing to do? Um, so an elevator pitch should be an overview and of the of, of of your idea. It should it should capture the essence of your idea, and you should be able to communicate that within thirty to sixty seconds. Because your elevator rides, po, typically they last for for thirty to, to sixty seconds, like on average. And so um, by, by by limiting your sentences to about like less than ten, you can more you can quite efficiently communicate the essence of your idea. Um, in less than a minute. So um, it's more, it, it can be much easier to digest, you know, like some of these tips if we have examples. And so um, again, this is a specific example framed around the gold nanoparticle synthesis idea that we introduced earlier during the study that, you know, we're trying to make um, cheap and size uniform gold nanoparticles for anti-cancer um, treatment. And so, um, Again, this is, these are just examples. Wag po ninyo itong digest as you know, these are things that we are proposing that you do. This is just um, for the purposes of exemplification. So um, in terms of the background, you can write up a couple of sentences that speaks about, you know, why cancer, like that, like, you know, the importance of cancer research and that it's a leading cause of deaths globally. And then follow that statement with, um, you know, uh, the importance of developing anti-cancer drugs. So that provides a background, you know, like what, what area are you trying to work on? And then you transition into uh, the, the statements that will help you um, communicate your hypothesis. So the first of which would be metal nanoparticles have actually been studied as, as anti-cancer agents. However, they're quite expensive. So, you know, you have already established, you know, like a hypothesis and, and, and a challenge and then follow that up with a uh, statement like that says, uh, something to the effect of studies uh, suggest that size uniform nanoparticles are more effective anti-cancer agents. So with those two sentences, you will have already communicated your problem statement, you know, what specific questions you're trying to answer. And then the third part of it is, again, the proposed study or general objective. So like, again, in this, on, in this section, you talk about the main objective of the, of the project. So you say a research project on the development of cheap and size uniform gold nanoparticles is proposed. And um, um, the impact of it, you should also communicate the impact of it. So this program can make high efficacy anti-cancer drugs more accessible. So you know, with just 
Six sentences, you have communicated the background, the problem statement, the objective, and also the relevance or the impact of the study.